Hi and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I am styling up the long puffer coat. Now I know it's not everybody's bag so you can style these outfits with a short puffer coat instead. It's just my preference. I just think they're so snuggly, so warm. It's like wearing a sleeping bag basically. And I have two different ones to show you. One is from Everlane and it's actually made out of plastic bottles and the second is a misguided one and I'm going to be showing you ways that I've been wearing the puffer jacket. Now excuse the light, I'm going out shortly. I'm filming this before I go and the sun has decided to just come and beam in through the window but hopefully it won't affect today's video. And let's get into the video. I'm going to talk to you this side and we'll have some inserts of me wearing the clothes here. You guys know the drill but if you're new do click subscribe, the notification bell and also go follow me on Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick for more outfit inspiration and let's get into today's video. First up, I'm going to show you two ways of wearing this beautiful coat from Everlane. It is a size small, but I will leave my measurements in the description box below. It's really lightweight, so if you're out shopping or you're doing things and it's cold outside but warm in the shops, it's really easy to carry around with you. Like I said, it's just like basically wearing a sleeping bag. I wear mine to walk Brody, I wear mine out to the shops. I would even wear it with like a going out outfit to keep super warm on your way to and from restaurants, clubs, bars, whatever your bag is. Let's Let's go into two of my favourite ways that I've been wearing this lately. Shock horror, neutrals, but something that I love at the moment and it works really well with the colour tone of this coat. So I'm styling a roll neck jumper, this one is just from Amazon, really nice fine knit but affordable, with my beloved misguided Sophia Ritchie joggers that you guys will have seen again a few times if you follow me over on Instagram. Just the best for leather joggers. So comfortable and a beautiful neutral colour. I've completed the look with my Nike Air Force One, such an affordable trainer that I find really comfortable. And then topped off with this beautiful new backpack from Aura Era. I just love the colour of the backpack against the colour of my coat. Literally obsessed with this and they very kindly sent it out to me. But all gifted items will be marked with a star in the description box along with everything that you will see styled in this video today so if there's anything you love just go and give it a click and check it out on the retailers website sorry about this sun situation something a little bit more dressy but completely just change the shoes and you could have it for a night out i have this beautiful black slip dress from the new lorna Lux range in the style so it's very affordable and i love layering a slip dress to make it versatile for autumn winter so layer a roll neck or a tight fitting jumper underneath or layer a loose jumper over the top like I have here and this is a beautiful knit from Misguided, again you may have seen on my Instagram. Now to toughen it up a little bit I've just paired my Doc Martin boots and an across the body bag which is from Senrev but like I said swap out the boots for a heeled boot or maybe even a knee boot that would look really nice and then you could wear this for kind of dinner out or take the jumper off if you're going for drinks, have a belt since you're wasting. All about the layers in autumn winter because it's bloody cold outside. Moving on to my next puffer jacket and it is this, might sound a little bit noisy, one from Misguided. Now I have a size 10 and it says oversized on the website anyway so I probably should have got a size 8, my bad. I do like things a little bit oversized but this is a little bit on the big side but instead to go with the trend of vinyl and shiny things I thought I would try a vinyl jacket. Hopefully it's not too noisy. I literally feel like it sounds like I'm wearing a bin bag. It probably looks like it as well, but ooh, again, super cozy. This one has actually really comfortable cuffs on it. They're like um, cotton cuffs around here. We've got this massive hood, and I thought this one might be better for walking in the rain, might be a little bit more waterproof than the other one. Again, it feels super light, so this is gonna be easy to take on and off if you're out and about, in and out of places. But yeah, I would say stick true to size. Maybe even go down size, because there's literally look, so much room in this, I might have to try and swap it for the size down. Again, just depends on your look. If you like oversized, you like a more snug fit, there you go. The one I will say about this one, though, the pockets are slightly annoying because they're just flaps on the front, uh, rather than ones at the side. So it's just a bit, where are my pockets? Oh, there are my pockets. But anyway, I will leave this one linked down below as well. They're pretty much similar price points. I think this is £65 and the Everlane one is a little bit more on the expensive side. But moving into how I have been wearing this jacket. The first way, oh my God, so comfortable. I've got it on now. It's a black bodysuit, also from Misguided, and then a pair of amazing joggers. 
only £20. I've been after joggers that are figure flattering, soft, comfortable, and these are it. Again, true to size, and you could even size down. Paired them with my Yeezy because I just like the grey and grey, and to be fair, they've not had much airtime recently. Finishing it off with my Acne Studio scarf. A little treat to myself, I saw it in uh, Selfridges and I kind of wanted it as soon as I saw it. I had seen the twin set talk about it on their channel and this is literally my kind of style to a T, statement accessory uh, and a kind of really versatile colour because it's in grey. So it ties in the joggers and the trainers with this whole look and it is a vibe I think I'm going to be wearing a lot in autumn winter. Literally body suits and joggers is going to be my jam. I do have a softbox light coming actually, so hopefully future videos the lighting sitch will be better because autumn winter the sun just does all kind of crazy things doesn't it. But moving on to my final way that I've been wearing puff coat. I thought I would go for something a little bit more smarter again to kind of show you how you can dress a puff coat up. So building up from the bottom I've gone for heeled boots, pointed toe always adds a little bit of class and makes an outfit a little bit dressy. I've got my favourite Amazon fine jeans which seem to be in every styling video. They were in the sale, maybe still in the sale, £10. Absolute bargain, cannot recommend enough. And then I've jumped on the Zara bodysuit train because I've been wanting nice fitting tops that you can wear underneath cardigans that you can layer up. And so many people rave about these. It was only £12.99. I got it in white and I got it in nude. And I'm a little bit obsessed. So talking about layering, it's like a perfect piece to layer under shirts. And this is a faux leather shirt. Mine is from Pull and Bear in a size small. So all these items are pretty much true to size, but I'll leave any information in the description box down below. Love this kind of layering and you can kind of see how you can fit loads of different layers underneath your puffer jacket as well. There we have four ways I've been loving wearing a puffer jacket and adding it into my autumn winter wardrobe. I am thinking of doing a autumn winter coats collection so I can share with you my different styles of coats and ways that I wear them so do let me know if you'd like to see that video do let me know as well what you think of the puff coat trend I know it's not for everybody but I love it I think you can dress it down dress it up and it's just a little bit different and it's definitely super practical because it keeps you so warm so do comment below if you're new or you watch my videos but you're not subscribed I would love if you also click the subscribe button hit the notifications because that would really help help a girl out and I will leave like I said everything linked in the description box below and I'll try and grab US and UK links as well but thank you for watching and I shall see you guys very soon